Hi, my name is Rob Cortman with Venture RV and I'm a regional sales manager and I'm going to show you some of the products that we have here to offer. This is the Sonic 231 VRK. All of our Sonics here in the front are going to be the same way. Uh, we start out with a power tongue jack here in the front which is lighted, it gives you nice access for at night when you're hooking up. Uh, the power tongue jack is gonna go up automatically and down as soon as you push the buttons. It makes it really easy to hook up your weight distribution hitch. It makes leveling uh, super simple. Just behind that, we have two 20 pound tanks. As you open the access lid from the top, you can turn the tanks on and off, and there's an automatic regulator in there that will switch tanks when one runs out. And these are real easy to switch out at any uh, convenience store or anything um, on the weekend if you cannot find an RV uh, to refill one. Just behind that, there's gonna be space for a RV battery. And then the red lever here is going to be a battery disconnect switch and you can turn that on or off when you're not using the camper and that will uh, keep your battery from running down. In the front, our rock guard here comes up a little bit further. That's going to help from when stones come up or anything in the road that comes up and tries to hit the camper. Uh, we will protect that. From there, we go to the fiberglass, and the fiberglass goes all the way from the front to the back. It's seamless. Most campers are going to have that seam in the front where you transition to a rubber or a vinyl, and then again in the rear where it transitions back to fiberglass. Ours is one piece the whole entire way. Makes maintenance really simple. Uh, keeps rips or tears from happening and really easy to clean. When you come up along the side here, our front pass-through storage, which is the same size on both sides, extra large, is a motorhome style where it comes up and the motion detector light starts and we've got really nice deep access there on both sides. When you unlatch it, it just slams. This key here is the same one that you use for the entry door. So it's really nice just to have to worry about one key and not all different ones on your key ring. You have awning here, which is power, and there's an LED light on it. It comes out eight feet, provides a nice shade. Our windows are all a tinted window with the black framing, keeps it showing nice. You don't see the dirt and debris uh, on anything of a lighter colored window. We are tandem axles as well and those axles are spread out a little ways to help distribute the load a little bit better and then it does keep our sway from happening as well um, if you're towing with a lighter weight vehicle just above that we have our fresh water fill and that's going to fill up your tank behind there we'll have 110 outlets uh, if you've got anything on your picnic table and then the cable outlet as well if you're going to run the tv up above on this floor plan, which is the dinette window, you have your amber porch light and then two exterior speakers, and there's a little blue LED light in there. Going to the entry door, you'll see that we have two solid steps here. These steps are nice for pets or anybody of any age. Gives you a nice secure landing as you are going up the entry door. When you open the door, that exposes our screen door. Our screen door has uh, the screenshot on it which will automatically close the door behind you. It keeps all the bugs and critters out. Everybody seems to like that. And then these steps just swing up and away and inside the camper. When you close the door, you'll see that we have a nice clean finish here. And then that does give us some extra clearance in the rear of the RV as well, as opposed to the uh, steel steps that can sometimes hang from the floor. And then those steps are fully adjustable. They have a capacity of 500 pounds and they come right down to the ground. Next to our entry door is a lend a hand. So this is again, nice for anybody of any age. You can grab onto that. It flips away and folds flush against the camper. Um, beneath that, you'll have our bottle opener and dog tie out, which is a real nice convenient place for that. And in the rear here too, if you look just underneath, you'll see our stabilizer jacks. Those are mounted at a 45 degree angle 
all the jacks are and that keeps things just extra stable when we mount the jacks like that just in front there is a lp connection which runs off your 20 pound tanks in the front if you want to hook up any uh, lp accessory on the outside when we come around to the back you'll see this is where our fiberglass comes all the way over which is again all one piece all of our tail lights turn signals and running lights are led so that keeps them nice and bright and it also uh, takes less energy to run those we have full-size spare tire and then just on the rear utility side here we have separate hookups for satellite and separate for cable and then just next to that we have a solar charge port if you want to get a panel you can run that and uh, get solar going for your battery again continuing on the utility side here we have a six gallon water heater this is gas and electric no need to really open the door at all unless you're going to drain the tank which you have an anode rod in there that pulls out will drain the six gallons but all you need to do from the inside is push the button and it will light on the propane or you can choose to run it off of 110 so two options of running the water heater we do give you a hot and cold outside shower here nice to wash any big pots and pans or clean off anything on the outside that you don't want to bring in and then just above that is our city water connection that you'd use from the campground or uh, at home if you're going to run the water for our power connection we use a marine style which is a 30 amp sealed connection your cord is going to go right in and twist lock that keeps it nice and tight uh, for any insects or anything wanting to get inside the camper that's not going to happen or any water uh, plus what you have here is a black tank sewer flush when you hook up your water hose to that that's going to flush the inside of the toilet tank and just keep things running nice and clean now as you enter the 231 vrk you're going to come into the kitchen so that's why we call it uh, rear kitchen because it's in the rear here it's going to give you a tremendous amount of counter space right as you walk in uh, you're going to see that you have the three burner range top it comes with a nice glass cover this folds back as kind of a splash guard you've got your two burners in the back and then the high speed burner in the front those are all lit up with your controls here those will turn on and off uh, and then you can just twist the connection and that will fire up your range top underneath there is a 16 inch oven when you go underneath here we've got two full extension drawer guides it supports 100 pounds those come all the way out and then right next to that is our furnace uh, our countertop is a nice seamless countertop gives you a true edge here there's no seam here makes it really easy to clean up and it's very scratch resistant as well our sink is an undermounted sink that's going to give you maximum counter space if you're going to overlay some pots and pans or anything here and then we do have this nice rollable sink cover and cutting board that exposes our stainless steel sink which comes with a strainer and as well uh, to clean up your dishes that folds right back it's nice easy storage and then we have a high-rise stainless faucet here as well two 110 outlets for any appliances that you have in the back and then up top here is going to be nice deep storage all the way across the back to allow a little bit of extra light in right above the kitchen we have a skylight and all of our sonics are going to come with a skylight just gives it a nice uh, open feeling and lets a lot of light in without having to run your your led lights we have a seven cubic foot gas and electric refrigerator all adjustable shelves here keeps things nice and cool and as you go towards the front you're going to see that we have a full-size dinette our cushions are attached permanently to the back here which is nice it doesn't keep them from rolling over it's very nice and supportive uh, same material we use here on the dinette top is what we use in the kitchen so again really easy to clean nice and seamless this will convert down into a sleeping area and you can sleep two here just with those legs coming off and underneath is full storage as well uh, all the way underneath these cushions when you come around here in this floor plan it features a nice large jackknife sofa again this will flip down and convert into another sleeping area it's very spacious good conversation area and then this window 
looks out onto your campsite uh, with an unobstructed view there. Again, another 110 outlet. Above here is your entertainment center. We give you the LED TV. This is on a bracket as well. It comes out and will tilt either way. Uh, up top, you'll see that we are pre-wired for Wi-Fi. So all of the wiring is run for you. You just have to choose the accessories you want to run. And then you have DVD, uh, HDMI input, and then this controls your outside speakers here as well. Right inside the doorway is your switches here. This controls your slide room, your awning, uh, your inside lights, and then this blue light here is illuminated for any outside lights. That one's actually your awning. Just underneath here is the pantry, nice and deep, again, with easy access to the kitchen. And then just on the other side, when you walk in the door, we give you a couple nice hooks here just to hang up some coats or odds and end things that you want to get up out of the way and off the floor. Now in the 231, you get nice privacy going from the living area into the bathroom. You have a nice uh, pocket door that is hidden here. That's going to give you and expose the bathroom sink, which would give you plenty of counter space and a nice wood medicine cabinet up top there. Plus, you're going to have another area that you can open up for all kinds of storage uh, for the bathroom, whether it's linens or other things. The door goes right here into the bedroom as well for privacy. And then you'll see that the shower is nice and tall. Another skylight in here giving you increased headspace. And then our toilet is a porcelain foot flush toilet. When you go all the way through and into the bedroom area, we give you a 60 inch wide by 75 inches long uh, queen size bed. Up in the front, you'll see we have cutouts for nightstands. So you don't have to crawl up in the middle of the night and, and sit up to get to your cup of water or glasses or book. And then you have a 110 outlet on the other side and USB. We angle our lights here as well so they don't shine down into your eyeballs at night. Uh, so it will shine away and at the book or whatever it is that you're you're looking at here as you're sitting up in bed. And then on each side, you're going to get a nice deep wardrobe as well for hanging space and folding clothes or anything up top here. All of these doors are self-supported as well. When you look up just above the bed, we do give you a nice... Uh, fan as well, which will exhaust or input any air that is needed. 